Hello and welcome to RubyCast. My name is James Gifford and today we are going to talk about deploying Sinatra applications on Heroku. So here we are and I have a copy of the episode 5 code um, and we're going to add Heroku to our gem file. So I'm just going to open up the gem file and we're going to do a group development do and we're going to include the shotgun and gem Heroku. Save. I'm going to save that. Now we're going to run bundle. And we are now installed. So, in order for us to do this, we, to deploy to Heroku, we need to do a few things. First of all, we're going to do git init. And then we're going to add the config.ru file. And this will do require dot slash main run Sinatra application. We're going to save, and if we run rack up config it on you, it will launch the web server for us. So we're going to do git add dot git commit minus m ready for Heroku deployment. So we create our Heroku Dino or server with Heroku create. And they call them uh, word word hyphen uh, numbers. So this is going to be gentlewin 1945. If we copy the link address and we open it up in Firefox, we say, hey, welcome to your new application. So in order to deploy to Heroku, we go to we do git push Heroku master. And this may take a while because it's going to go and uh, push a copy of the code up and then it's going to download all of the Ruby gems that we have selected for our application to run. In this case it's Hamel and Sinatra and it's going to skip the development and test groups. So Shotgun and Heroku, those gems will not be installed. And our um, bundle is complete, and it is now launched. So now if we go back to Firefox and we refresh, it will say, hey, here's our current time. And then if we go to slash about, it will have the about this app page. There you go. Deploying in Heroku. Very easy, very simple. Heroku is generally used for Rails applications, but as you can see here, it is extremely easy to do it with a Sinatra application as well. Thank you for watching.